guys, it's Sylvia here with another video doing a work in progress of my rose panel diamond painting, which is my 90 by 30. Um, as I did get a chance to do a progress video, unfortunately, earlier today because I was at the gym doing my workout sessions. So I'm doing it now. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm currently doing the number four of my diamonds and I'm currently doing the diamonds on these red kind of roses here and further along over here which you can't see. Um, so basically what I'm doing is just placing all the diamonds in a specific um pattern if you would like to say um as a kind of idea on how to do your diamond placement i was originally doing them like tiny sections like all around the whole entire canvas but this time i've been focusing on like one or two three um flowers at a time and doing all the colors for those particular flowers on the canvas Kind of similar to what I was doing prior um, in my other videos, but I saw this method and I thought it would be a little bit different and I would like to compare the two styles of how people place their diamonds if it's like, because um, I've seen where people, they get like a square of their canvas, like the drill field, and they only do that particular square at a time so as the canvas gets filled with the square changing their diamonds every few rows or whatever it is um well that's kind of like what i'm doing with this except it's the actual flower because this canvas is a partial and doesn't have an actual big grid to go off of so i'm just doing the sections at a time Still doing the same method as what people would do with the square thing, with the grid, but instead of me doing it in a square, I'm doing it in a, a bit of a circle with the flowers. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like the same kind of thing. Because um, my um usual method that I do, I just usually do it like one diamond all like for that one color all throughout the canvas instead of just doing one section at a time but this time i'm doing it as one section at a time so i'm doing a little different to what i usually do um just to see what it's like and if i like that method as i said in a another video which i did for a work in progress for this painting um, so yeah, so basically today I went to my uh, second workout session today. I had my second day at the gym at Zap and did a workout with my personal trainer, which was great. Did my circuit training, got to do some of that, um, got to really tone my arms and legs. Um, and my arms and legs are aching, but I know it means I've been using muscles that I haven't used in a long, long time. So I know that the pain is worth it and it will be worth it in 12 months from now. It will be definitely worth it in the end. Well, I hope it will be. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing my workouts today. I did two gym sessions today. I did one this morning at about 8 o'clock and then I did another one um, just after about three o'clock this afternoon or two o'clock this afternoon I'm not really sure what time exactly but it was around that time and um it was really raining heavily as well today just wouldn't stop raining the weather was just awful I literally got soaked from the weather um and I had to change my t-shirt into this one um so when I went for my first workout session this morning, I had a very different T-shirt on to the one I have now. And then I changed to this one um, after my first workout session um, because my other one was soaking wet from the rain. So I didn't want to be cold and have a chill. 
So I put this T-shirt on so I could feel a lot warmer. So hopefully, as I've said in a previous video, I hope this painting doesn't take me very long to finish as it's already been taking me already two to three days to work on this particular painting. Um, well, as everyone knows, I've now read, like I've now joined a gym um, and I'm working out about two times a day. Um mostly in the morning, sometimes in the evening, depends on the day and whatever I feel like at the time. Um, I haven't really figured out um, my actual routine of when I'll be going to the gym throughout the day, but I know it's twice a day, usually in the morning and sometimes in the afternoon. So as I first find that's what is, is easiest for me, um, with my schedule and everything else and that's just my personal preference um i am finding the gym pretty good so far since i joined um yesterday and um i'm just finding it really uh, motivating to attend and go to to work out like I just feel really confident every time I go on that to that gym and like if I do a bit of cardio or a bit of the circuit um like doing like leg presses and um bench presses all that kind of stuff um it just helps me feel more motivated to get the fat off and um I've noticed it's really with helped with like my hunger as well. Like I've noticed that since I've been using a lot more energy, I'm not feeling as hungry. Like the hunger that I used to have is slowly um, fading. So I'm not as hungry as what I used to be. So I'm only eating usually around one to two meals a day at least um i was originally eating roughly two meals a day but since i've been exercising a lot more and working on my fitness and my health i haven't really had the urge to eat as much as i used to so yeah um the gym so far is really helping me to be motivated um, with my fitness goals. Um, I haven't really set a specific weight, like goal weight yet, though I do want to lose at least 40 kilos over the next 12 months, but I'm more seeing it as a realistic kind of thing instead by choosing to reach a specific goal before 
another goal like a lot of people I know have been doing um but I'm just not really worrying about numbers um I'm only focusing more on how much calories I've burnt instead. Um, so yeah, I'm not really focusing on any particular weight goal. Um, all I'm focusing on is just losing the weight and keeping it off. Um, so yeah, I will have another gym session again tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to look forward to that. Um, I don't know yet if I'll do two gym sessions or not, but I know I'm definitely going again in the morning. As I feel like in the morning, that's the best time to work out because the gym is nearly like empty and there's not really many people in there. So you've got like most of the gym to yourself and, um, it's basically like in the own privacy of your own home in a way. Um, you just walk in, choose a gym equipment you want to use and you just pop in your headphones and listen to your music and you just work out. And you don't have to worry about anyone um, like or anything like that. You just go in, get your workout done and then you just leave whenever you want to. Um so yeah. <sighs> oh, oh, I'm yawning. This is not good. Okay, I think I've done all those in that once. Yes, yes I have. Okay, so now it's up to the next colours. I'll do the other fours in the other flowers later. Because um, I want to get these red flowers done as well at some point. Just gonna leave those there. Okay, so we got number So if anyone is actually interested in signing up to Zap, they've got a uh, sign up deal going at the moment. So you get um, like $20 off your sign up fee, which is great because it was originally like $60 odd and it's only like about $40 instead. So it's like a lot cheaper than what it normally would be if you sign up right now. Um, so definitely... Uh, recommend zap to anyone if they want to actually lose weight um, as I've noticed it's really popular um, all throughout Australia so because um, zap is a place that's owned in Australia it's nowhere anywhere else in the world um, and they have multiple stores like nationwide 
so it's yeah it's just really really good gym i reckon it's definitely worth the money that you pay to go to the gym so um yeah so if you guys would like to sign up I'll leave a link down in the description box below if you guys would like to check it out. For those who are in Australia and would like to get fit, lose some weight, um, focus on your fitness goals, I highly recommend you check out um, the website and sign up um, if you guys are interested. Um, no, my video is not sponsored. Um, this is just my own personal opinion. Um... So I did not get sponsored for this video by Zap or anyone affiliated with Zap. So this is just my own personal opinion. Um, so, yeah. The one thing that really annoys me about these particular colours is that some of the numbers look very similar on the same background. That's why it's important to have a light pad. <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking about getting one as well because um, someone else recommended I get one. So I'm going to probably take their advice and get one. Um, as a lot of other YouTubers that I watch as well, um, they also have light pads and they um, they say that it's a, definitely an investment or worth investing in um, because you don't have to worry about plugging it in with a massive cable or anything like that. It's just a USB cable and you just plug it into a portable power bank kind of thing and just plug it in, turn it on, adjust your brightness and you're good to go ready to do your diamond painting and and if you are also like an artist like myself who does lots of drawing and sketching that kind of thing the light pad is also great for tracing tattooing like designs all that kind of stuff as well besides diamond painting so it's like a multi-purpose light pad that you can use regardless if you're tracing drawing sketching diamond painting whatever it's still good to use. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to hopefully get one. Um, as, like I said before, a lot of people have recommended I should get one. Um, but I haven't really ordered it yet, um, as I've been focusing on other things instead. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I also will hopefully get some frames at some point for my paintings as well. Um, but unfortunately I haven't had the time to get them yet. Um, so I know a few of you are planning or looking forward to a framing video but um the framing video is kind of delayed um for the time being until i actually buy the frames so so i do apologize um that i won't be able to do an, a framing video um 
yet. Um, I'm just waiting until I get more frames. Or buy frames, I should say. Um, I do have some frames, but they're not the right size for the painting that I will be framing. So, um, so I think what I'll do um, as far as framing goes, I think I'll find a smaller size frame for probably like one of my 30 by 40 paintings that I've already completed and I probably might just frame that instead of my hua can ones because the hua can ones they are a bigger size so um and it's really hard to find that specific size for those paintings So we'll just have to wait and see um, what happens. But I'm still going to be doing a framing video. Um, I'm just going to have to wait until a little bit longer for when I get those frames. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the video here. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit give that um, like button a thumbs up. Um, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button um, to become part of my notification squad for upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.